In this video, we're going to learn how to find the length of a space diagonal. And if you didn't know what it is, a space diagonal is a line that connects two points that are not on the same face of a 3D object. So for example, in this rectangular prism, this red diagonal with length d is a space diagonal because it connects two vertices of the rectangular prism that are not on the same face. So we want to find D, but before we do that, let's look at this diagram right over here of a rectangle with side lengths A and B. Let's try and find the length of this diagonal, which is C. First of all, we know that this is a rectangle, so this is a right angle, which means this is a right triangle. And if it's a right triangle, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So C squared is equal to A squared plus b squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, we get that c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now we're ready to find the length of this diagonal. To do that, first we're going to draw a diagonal from this point right here to this point right here. So this is not a space diagonal we just drew because it's on the same face. The two vertices of the line are still on the same face. But what we did do is we made another right triangle because this angle right here is a right angle because in a rectangular prism, each face is a rectangle. So this is a right angle, which means this is a right triangle. So we can find the length of this diagonal, which we'll call x x squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So x is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now when we drew the diagonal with length x, we didn't only create one right triangle, we created two. This right here is also a right triangle because in a rectangular prism, all these corners are right angles. So this is a right angle which means that we have a right triangle right here. So we can find d in terms of x and c. d squared is equal to x squared plus c squared because of the Pythagorean theorem. And then if we take the square root of both sides, we get that d is equal to the square root of x squared plus c squared. But we remember that x squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So, d is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. In other words, any space diagonal of a rectangular prism will be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of each side of the rectangular prism. So for example, if we got rid of these right here, and we replace them with side lengths, 2, 3, and 5, then d would just be equal to the square root of the square of the first side length of the rectangular prism, which is 2, plus the square of the second side length of the rectangular prism, which is 3, plus the square of the final side length of the prism, which is 5. So we have that d is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared. So d is equal to the square root of 4 plus 9 plus 25. d is equal to the square root of 38. And that is our answer.